calling Reddick. Rob calling Reddick. Rob calling Reddick. Come in, Krog. I have to report another failure, Your Excellency. We were unable to capture Commando Cody and hold him for ransom. You still have no funds? No, sir. And until we can get a ray gun into action again, we are unable to continue our campaign against Earth's defenses. Listen carefully, Croc. I cannot have my preparations for invading the Earth delayed by such a minor detail as obtaining a small amount of money. If the men you now have cannot accomplish this simple mission, then hire someone who can produce results. This is an order. I understand, Your Excellency. It's up to you to decide whether you can still be useful to us or... We'll figure something out. Remember that payroll job Duke was trying to get you in on? Maybe he'll still go through with it. Well? It's risky, but it might work. It's the Western Wholesale Supply Company. They keep their payroll in the office safe every Friday night. There's a man in the office who knows the combination. It's a cop, get going. to see if I could identify a prisoner. And he turned out to be one of those two who'd been making all the trouble for us. Well, how did they catch him? Well, he and another man staged a payroll robbery. The police went after them and the car crashed. The other man was killed, but our pal was only banged up a little. What did you find out about him? His name's Graver. He's an ex-convict out on parole from the bank robbery sentence. Well, what about his connection with the invaders from the moon? I haven't had a chance to find out yet. There were too many people around the jail hospital, so Henderson asked me not to question him there. We might be overheard. But aren't they going to try to find out something? Yes. They're going to move him under guard to a private sanitarium where we can question him without any danger of the story leaking out and throwing the whole country into a panic. When will that be? Probably this afternoon. Henderson is going to let me know as soon as they make arrangements for having him transferred. I'd like you to go with me, Ted. Sure. I got some news about Graber. A friend of mine's a trustee in a jail hospital, and he tipped me off they're moving Graber out in an ambulance this afternoon. Is there anything we can do about it? Yeah, I got it all figured out. Now, my friend told me which road the ambulance is taking, and I'll...
start walking. Cross country. Go on! are after you already. What? Yeah, it's coming over the radio right now. Calling all cars. Calling all cars. This is over an ambulance with life reporter turning off to the east end of Harrison Canyon Highway. I told you you should have slugged that driver. Calling police headquarters. Calling police headquarters. It's Cody. Police headquarters. Come in. This is Commando Cody. I picked up your broadcast and I'm just turning into the west end of Harrison Canyon now. If I meet the ambulance, I'll stop it for you. We'll get some men up there as soon as we can. That's a bad breaker. What's he doing out here? Probably on his way to third degree me. I'll go back to town with you, Sam. You keep going with the ambulance until you can ditch it. If you meet Cody first, smash him. Right. for you first. Do you have an atomic bomb strong enough to start a volcanic eruption in the Mount Alder crater? Yes, but an eruption in that mountainous area would do very little damage. On the contrary, it will do a great deal of damage. The present atmospheric conditions on Earth indicate that the eruption would cause torrential rains, and the resulting floods should seriously disrupt transportation and defense measures. An excellent idea. We shall carry it out at once. Very well. Then we start an intensified campaign with the ray gun. Earth's defenses must be completely broken down before we can risk an invasion from the moon. Yes, Your Excellency. You heard the orders? Charter a plane and drop one of our atomic bombs into the Azure crater. Nature will do the rest. Okay, when do we do it? At once. I will get you the bomb.
interruption to two men answering a description of Graeber and his pal. And we're right. They're the ones who bombed the volcano. Looks like it. Yes, but that doesn't help us catch them. Couldn't you get a line on them? The names and addresses they gave were phony. But I did get one great. The airport manager borrowed these matches from Graeber and forgot to give them back. Al's Cafe. That might do us some good. It at least means they've been there. And if we're lucky, they might be regular customers. So let's go look to join over. Right. If we hear anything, Joe, we'll give you a call. <laughs> Yeah, I know the guys you mean. They come in here pretty often, but I don't know their names or anything about them. Well, if they show up, I wish you'd call me. Oh, sure. I sure will, Mr. Cody. Thanks. Joker told the truth, and he wasn't in any position to lie very well. Now, I was just lucky I picked up one of the men who got the lunarium. If we're going to get there in time for you to take his place, we better hurry. It's a little after nine. I'll go right in. You find a place to hide and watch for me to come out. Okay. About time you got here. I was delayed.
Thank you. 